Guys, LinkedIn is one of the most powerful tool to make relevant connections and to find genuine leads for your business. As here you can find people belonging to a specific kind of profession and background and you can connect with them easily. So if you also have sufficient connections on LinkedIn and you want to convert them into your customers or your employees, this automation that we are about to set up is going to help you a lot because it will allow you to create posts on LinkedIn from your Google Sheets automatically. So uh, it is also going to help you to get a post created from any of your team member and you don't have to provide them the access of your LinkedIn also. So now let me show you how it is going to work. So the flow of this automation is going to look like this as in when you, you enter the post details in a spreadsheet that you have created in Google Sheets, the same post will be created and shared with your LinkedIn connections automatically. Okay. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part of setting up this automation is that you don't have to have any knowledge of programming or coding. So anyone can set up this automation easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So the first step to set up this automation guys is to log in into your Pabli Connect account. So please do check the link that we have pasted in the description from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will give you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay. And after that you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this. And here you have to start setting up this automation by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any uh, relevant or suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as create post on LinkedIn from Google Sheets automatically. Okay, now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And on this page, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So our automation work on these two things. The trigger is the happening of any event and the action is the response to that trigger. Okay, so in our use case, the trigger would be entering the details of a post in Google Sheets and the response or the action towards that trigger is to create a post out of that content on LinkedIn. Okay, so first of all, you have to set up your trigger for that. Just click here on the trigger section and from this choose app field you have to choose your trigger application so our trigger application is google sheets so here it is select it okay and then you have to select the trigger event that would be new or updated spreadsheet row so it will trigger this workflow when a new spreadsheet row is added so whenever you add the content of a post in a row in spreadsheet this workflow will trigger okay so select this and it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL and it is used to fetch the data out uh, from any external application to here in Pabli Connect. So we are going to connect our Google Sheet uh, with this URL and we are going to fetch the test data of a content from our Google Sheet to here and with the help of that data only we are going to set up this automation further. So first of all you have to click here on this copy button and copy this webhook URL and then you have to go to your spreadsheet that you have created so you can see this is a spreadsheet i have created and the name of this sheet is linkedin and here i am entering the content the titles and here are the article url attached with the uh, with which i want to post on linkedin okay so here uh, this is how you can enter the content in a row okay and here you have to click on this extensions and from this add-ons you have to come to this get add-ons option click on it and from this google workspace marketplace window you have to search for an add-on called as pabli p a b b l y pabli connect webhooks okay so this is pabli connect webhooks you have to install it install this add-on here in your spreadsheet and it will take only two minutes as you can see i have already installed it so it is showing installed Okay, so I do not need to install it again. But once you install it here, you what you have to do, you have to refresh this spreadsheet. Okay, so please do remember after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, uh, you have to refresh the spreadsheet. Now after refreshing, when you click on extensions, you will find this Pabli Connect Webhooks in the drop down only. And from here, you have to click on initial setup. 
And in this initial setup, it will ask for uh, these two things, the webhook URL and the trigger column. So in the webhook URL, you have to paste the webhook URL that you have copied from Pabli Connect. And in the trigger column, you have to uh, put the name of the final data entry column or the last data entry column that you have in your spreadsheet that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay. So let me show you. This is the final column I have, the B column. First, I'm going to put the content here in this uh, A column. Then I'll put the article URL in the B column. And as I'm going to put the article URL here, the workflow will trigger, okay? So this is our, the B column is the final data entry column. So now click on extension, go to Pabli Connect Webhooks and from initial setup, let us fill those, both of these things. In the webhook URL field, I am uh, pasting the webhook URL that you have that I have copied from Pabli Connect like this, okay. And in the uh, trigger column, I have put B. Now, uh, let me show you one thing more in my workflow. Uh, in my workflow, when I have copied this webhook URL, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response, okay. So now uh, this means now you have to do a test submission. So you have to fetch the test data out from your spreadsheet to here. And with the help of that data, we are going to move forward. So to get the test data here, you just have to click here on this send test button. Okay. And the data of the first row that we have will be uh, sent to our workflow as the test data. You can see the test data sent successfully. Let's check in my workflow if we got the data. And you can see we got the data and the response received section like this. Here we have the content. Here we have the article URL. This is the spreadsheet name and all the details. Okay. This is how we are going to fetch the data. Now you just have to click on this submit button. And you have to do one thing more. Go to extensions and from Pabli Connect Webhooks option only. Click on this send on event button. So when you click on send on event button, what will happen whenever you add a new row, the data will be transferred automatically to Pabli Connect and the workflow will run and a new post will be created on LinkedIn. Now, <clears throat> we got the test data and we want to uh, create a post on LinkedIn uh, with this data. Okay, for that you have to connect your LinkedIn account in this action step. So open the action step and from this choose app field, search for LinkedIn. This is it. Okay. And select the action event now. So Pabli Connect provides you these two action events. You can share a simple text post or you can share an article or URL as well. So here I'm going to select this because we have a link of an article also in our content. So here I'm selecting share an article or URL. Okay. Then click on connect and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with LinkedIn. Okay so this will bring you to the login window of Pabli Connect. Here you have to uh, enter the login credentials and click on sign in and you will be connected with your LinkedIn account. You can see. Okay so we are connected and now it is showing all these fields. The author's name is Ashi. So it will show you the name of the person to uh, to uh, whose account is there on LinkedIn. Okay. And here it is asking for the content, the article URL and the visibility. So we got the content details in the first step like this. So I'm going to map the content here in the second step. So to map the content, what you have to do, you just have to click here and you will find this Google Sheets option in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find all the data that you have received in the first step. So from here only, I'm going to map this content. Okay, like this. And in the article, article URL, I'm going to map the URL that you got from the first step. Here is the article URL. Okay. And you can make the visibility to public or to your connections. You can choose it. I'm making it connections. I want to make this post visible only to my connections. Okay. So when you map the things like this, what will happen whenever a new entry will be there in your Google sheet, this mapped data will change accordingly and a new post will be created correctly in your LinkedIn account. Now let's check our connection if the if it is working properly or not. So I'm going to click on save and send test request and a test post will be created on my LinkedIn account. Okay, so I'm clicking here on save and send test request. Let's see what happens. And it is sh showing us this uh, ID. 
Now let me show you my LinkedIn uh, LinkedIn profile and I'm refreshing the profile and you can see a new post is here which is this with the title as this web plan web graphic design WordPress theme and templates and this is the link that we have attached uh, which we got from our Google sheet. Let me show you this. Uh, I'm opening my spreadsheet and this was the test data. So I'm clicking on this link and you can see this is the same link that we got on LinkedIn. Okay. So let me show you. This is the link I have opened from Google sheet and this is the link we got from, we got on LinkedIn and it is completely the same. Okay. So this is how it is going to work in real time. Our connection is working fine and we are done setting up this automation now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here and guys you have to set up this automation by making the connections and mapping the data only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow after that you just have to put the content details in the spreadsheet and a new post will be created on linkedin automatically okay so here first of all in the trigger i connected my google sheet application with the help of this webhook URL and fetch the test data out from out from my Google Sheet to here. And then in the action step, I connected LinkedIn and mapped the data we got from the first step and checked our connection that was working well. Okay, now you just have to click on save. And guys, the best part is you can use this same workflow because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel